going on guys? T Lev. Today, for all you baseball guys, I'm going to show you how to have baseball swag. Now, I know some of you have it already, but those of you who don't, time to wake the fuck up. Let's get this going, all right? Step one, your hat. Hats are a baseball thing, all right? This defines you as a baseball player. This defines your swag. How to wear your hat is essential. First thing, don't wear your hat like this. Don't bend it like it's a fucking... You're not going deer hunting, all right? You're playing fucking baseball. Look how much of a dick you look with this on. Baseball players don't wear their hat that way, so get rid of that. Should have a slight... Very, not flat, but a slight bend. So when you put that motherfucker on... Take a look at that shit. Hmm. Damn. You look great. It's not rocket science, boys. Next step, eye black. You don't always need it. I don't care if it's cloudy out and the sun's not even out. Wear it, because it's swag. Use your heads. You just gotta, boom, boom. Swag. And if you really want to swag it, boys, give it some flavor. Know what I'm saying? Give it the downward action. <sighs> you look mean. Don't get too fancy with it, because we're not lacrosse players. Don't be a complete tool, all right? All right, this next step is completely important. You need swag off the field, not just on the field. So for that, bros, you gotta get yourself some routine baseball apparel. Look how fresh this is. And I should recommend for all you pitchers out there to get a shirt that really explains how you fucking toss the ball. Paint the corners, bro. Without the shirt, you're like at a 60% swag possibility. This shirt, Adds the 40% to make you the fucking swag boss. True ball players wear baseball apparel off the field, not just on. Next step is you need some scruff. It's a written rule by the baseball gods, don't ask me why, you need the scruff. The only way you can get away with not having scruff is if you have long hair, which I don't have, so scruff it is. So now you're at a really high swag level. You got your off-field apparel, routine baseball shirt, you got your eye black, you got your hat. Now you need to pack a lip. Now, for those of you who don't know how to pack a lip, you must be retarded because all you got to do is put it in your lip. Spit that shit. If you're not going to pack a lip because of health concerns, which can't blame you, bro. You better have seeds or else you're out of here. Get yourself some fucking sunflower seeds. Ranch preferably. Boom. Don't fuck around. Throw the motherfuckers in your mouth. And stick them in your cheek. You can go out to the field. You can go up and back. Shit, I even pitch with them in. All I'm saying is you got to be doing something with your mouth besides chattering. All right, this is going to sound kind of weird, but... You gotta know how to spit properly. This may sound weird, but every sport has their own spitting technique. It's hockey. The guys spit through their teeth. Football. The guys hock giant loogies through their helmet or snot rockets. I've seen it. I played it. Baseball. They got a great spit. Beautiful art. When a baseball player spits, the thing to do is you take the top of your mouth and force it off the bottom of your lip. That's how a baseball player spits. Work up a nice bit of mucus and let that motherfucker rip. That's the way to do it, boys. All right, here's another important part. It's all about the look, boys. The next part is all about your stance. Don't stand around looking like you got nothing better to do. This ain't soccer. Now, this stance I'm talking about is not when the ball is about to be in play. You got to look alive when that shit happens. I don't have to teach you how to play the game. I'm teaching you about swag. So in between pitches, you got to know how to look. Glove. Web against your hip. Now stand straight up. Not slouched over. Swag leaning. It's that simple, boys. Every now and then, adjust your cup. It's not gross. It's swag. Adjust your cup. Let, let them know you got them. Slap your glove. It's all about the look, boys. And last but not least, and I know you've seen it, just like my previous videos, you got to know the chatter. The chatter adds to your swag. Really puts the cherry on top of the ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what do you say? I'm too far, kid. What do you say, boy? Yeah, good I ain't you, bro. Ain't, ain't you. Let that one go. I don't know, Blue. I don't know about that one. Let me stand out, kid. What do you say, bro? Let's go, kid. Sit him down now. Now you're all fully swagged out. Awesome. I always say this. If you're going to lose, at least look good doing it. Just in case you guys want to know where to get these swag threads for off-the-field apparel, go to www.routinebaseball.com. The link will be in the description bar. And follow them on Twitter. I'll put that up right after this. Listen, man, these guys are legit. They want to look like a fucking boss. 
You want baseball swag? Go to the website and get your shit. Now I'm fucking around.